What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Princess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. Just saying, just saying. This is um, a free general collective reading, capture side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. I got a channel message in, so I decided to share the um, the message. Um, love you guys so much. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you'd like to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate or your name if you do it through my private PayPal. I do not have YouTube Super Chat on right now, so you can't do it that way. All right, so let's roll. Okay, so the channel message I received was, okay, now it's it's very specific, and this is what I heard. So, you know, I am definitely not a racist person. person. Anybody that knows me that, um, you might knows me that. Anybody that knows me knows that. They know I'm not racist, just for real, for real. I am definitely not racist, but this is what I heard. So, don't take it as racist is what I'm trying to say, because it's not racist, okay? is the spiritual download I received. Just saying, okay? So I heard a African uh, African American Libra and a Caucasian Leo's channels, tarot reading channels, are about to um, skyrocket in very positive ways soon. That is what I heard. Now it's a wonderful positive message. It's a wonderful positive spiritual download if you think about it. But some people, you know, everybody's different. People get offended over the smallest little freaking things. Um, I don't find that offensive. Um, it was specific. Um, so don't get offended is what I'm trying to say. If you get offended, please click off. Okay? Just saying. So I heard an African-American Libra. So whoever this Libra is, there's at least two energies in the universe. Her, they're tarot readers. Um, now, they could do clairaudient channels, clairvoyant channels. They could have gifts. From the spiritual realm or not i don't know i didn't hear that part i'm feeling they might though because most i mean some may some may not is what i'm trying to say um i didn't hear they did they could or couldn't but they could have spiritual gifts or not have spiritual gifts is what i'm trying to say spiritual gifts include clairaudience clairvoyance clairsentience psychic medium abilities um dreamscape abilities etc 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 for anybody who doesn't know that i'm very clear audience I have other gifts as well, but my main one is clear audience. Um, is anybody use my channel? You know this. So just saying for me, but everybody's different. So just saying, just saying. So this um, African-American Libra, whoever this person is in the universe, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. They have some kind of channel, tarot reading channel, whether they just, they read the cards, whether they have spiritual gifts, whether they don't, I'm not sure. Um, you have to plug it in where it fits in your own life. But I heard their channel is about to skyrocket in a very positive way. So they're about to get lots of attention to their channel. Maybe donations. Maybe um, uh, definitely lots of attention. I'm thinking um, view count. I'm thinking donations. I'm thinking um, support to the channel. Um, view streams in. Uh, attention. Uh, word of mouth. Social media attention etc 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 same for the caucasian leo there's at least two people in the universe and maybe more than two it might be 500 caucasian leos it might be 5,000 uh african-american libras for all i know i don't know but i heard specifically african-american libra caucasian leo so the african-american libra could have libra in their sun moon rising venus or thumb in or jupiter it could be you or somebody you're connected to the caucasian leo could have uh, Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter. It could be you or somebody you're connected to, but African American Libra and a Caucasian Leo. Their channel is about to spike in a very positive way. I think lots of views, view stream, view count, um, attention, social media or community or both. I mean, positive. It's positive for both of these readers. It might be two in the universe, it might be 2,000. You plug it in, however that resonates, if it resonates for you. Okay. Very well deserved. Okay.
okay, I heard very well deserved. So it's very well deserved for both, both of these people to, um, I guess, um, both of these people, or maybe 2,000 people in the universe, to have lots of attention, positive attention, and positive flow stream, positive view counts, positive, pos positive attention into their channel. Um, obviously, I think they're putting out positive into the universe, or they're either po putting positive out in the universe, or the truth out in the universe. Or something out in the universe that people like. That they either like it or they love to hate it, if that makes sense. Or it helps them in some shape, form, or fashion. But it's something they're putting out into the universe that people want to view in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates? We have beauty on the bottom of the deck. Number 20 might be a very significant number in someone's life. Number 20, it could be a possible age of viewers right you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, um, possible jersey number, number 20, um, beauty. So many people were fixated on materialism in the past, but they they want the truth. And they're about to get it from these readers. Holy crap, this is strong. This is beautiful, though. Strong but beautiful. Okay, I heard so many people were fixated on materialism in the past, um, but they want the truth. They want the truth, and I heard they're about to get it from these readers. So it's at least two readers in the universe, African-American Libra, a Caucasian Leo. Anybody doesn't know, Caucasian means basically a lighter, lighter complexity like me. I'm pale as a ghost, just saying. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard so many people were fixated on materialism in the past. So materialism, meaning money, 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 money. Um, so they were fixated on money, 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 how to make money, I guess, or maybe they thought this African-American Libra had a lot of money, or this Caucasian Leo had a lot of money, or these people could gain them a lot of money, or somehow they were fixated on money in some shape, form, or fashion, but it sounds like whoever these people are that's about to drive into a positive flow into their um, tarot reading channels, because these people... This Caucasian Leo and this African American Leo both have, I think, public platforms. They have to. They have to have public platforms, whether it's social media public platforms or in the community public platforms or both, but they have public platforms, terror reading public platforms. I'm feeling social media, but it could be however that resonates in your life. Whoever this Caucasian Leo is to you and this African American Libra is to you. It could be one person this resonates, um, one of these people could resonate in your life, two plus could resonate in your life, you could be one of these people, however that resonates. But, however that resonates, um, the people that are about to drive into these people, these two, at least two readers in the universe's social media, uh, not social media, I'm sorry, tarot reading um, businesses, whether it's 3D or social media or what have you, they were the people i think they were looking they were very materialistic in the past but now they want the truth so they know these readers deliver the truth so they're the real deal they're the real freaking deal um whoever these readers are to you so beauty they they see the beauty in the situation of these readers they see the truth they want the truth and they're get they're getting the truth they have gotten the truth or they're about to get the truth um i think others are about to tell others about these people being the truth is what I'm thinking. They most certainly are. And it's about to drive in a lot of business for these readers. Okay, I heard they most certainly are. And it's about to drive in a lot of business for these readers. So it's about to be, it sounds like word of mouth or social media driven for these readers. Um, these people are the truth. Whoever these people are to you. Um, that's beautiful. Spirit messages you have reflected. Balance is going to create balance in the universe because I heard these readers are the truth.
Discernment reverse, number 10, could be a very significant number in your life, as well as number 19. Could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to. Also, uh, 19 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible jersey number, possible date of birth number, um, possible um, green card number, etc., etc. 10 or 19, discernment reversed. Totally different mindsets now. Totally. There's about to be a huge energy shift soon. Okay, I heard totally different mindsets now. Totally. There's about to be a huge uh, energy shift soon. Now, anybody doesn't know, an energy shift is basically going towards person, people, place, family situation or going away from person, people, place, family situation. So energy shift is putting your energy towards something, like straight up putting it towards something or straight up pulling it back. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So, but in this situation with at least these two readers in the universe, it's energy shifting towards these people because people know they're the truth. I think they're about to tell other people they're the truth, which is going to create drive and flow towards their business, whether it's in 3D, whether it's in social media, whether it's both. Um, because they know they're the truth. Um, people's discernment was off in the past. They were very materialistic or their discernment was just off about other readers or other people or other situations or et cetera, et cetera. But now it's clearing up because they know these people are the truth and it's going to create balance in the universe. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, also this is Sag energy. You could be a Sag or dealing with the Sag or no a Sag in your life in some shape or fashion. If you are a Sag, you're dealing with a Sag. You could have Sag in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Walk, Go, Midheaven, or Jupiter, or someone you know could possibly balance. Someone is about to report a Sag a Sagittarius soon for a child abuse. They will be locked up without bond. Know this. Very negative series of chain of events are about to occur for the Sagittarius. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. I heard someone's about to report a Sagittarius soon for child abuse. Holy crap. This is taking a left turn very quickly. Okay. Someone's about to. Report a Sagittarius for child abuse soon. I heard it's going to create very negative um, series of chain events for the Sagittarius. I heard they will be locked up without bond. So locked up without bond, jail without bond is what I'm presuming here. But you plug it in, how it resonates. And then I heard other negative series of chain events for them. So that I'm assuming they probably want to bond out, but they're not going to be able to because I heard locked up without bond. So they're going to be sent to jail. I feel this might be official reporting energy. It might be you officially reporting the Sagittarius or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of Sag energy about to be officially reported for child abuse. Um, and it's going to create negative series of chain of events for them. I'm presuming there's some kind of evidence here. Maybe you have the evidence or somebody you're connected to has the evidence. And um, it's so much so they're not going to be able to get out of jail. I'm presuming they're going to want to bond out, but they're not going to be able to. Other negative series of chain of events are going to occur for them. So I'm assuming that will probably be prison. Probably. Um, a child abuse is very serious. Uh, it's very serious. And um, can't do that. So, uh, and, I've, and I've been pulling in so much of that in the energetic spaces recently. So much. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. But it sounds like it's going to create balance in the universe. Um, this Sagittarius being locked up for um, child abuse is what it sounds like. But you plug it in how, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have reflected. Message of concern. So I think this is the um, official reporting energy of the Sagittarius. This is, that's going to have them locked up without bond. I think you are going to be the one to officially report the Sagittarius because you're concerned about child abuse. And um, kudos to you, whoever you are, because um, you should never abuse anybody's child, child or children, whether it's their own children, decides his own children, or somebody they're connected to. 
on children. You shouldn't abuse anybody, period, adult or children. And in this case, it's children. So I, I think this message of concern is to the police or to the feds or to some kind of important entity, energy, to get this side locked up. That's exactly what I think, which is going to create balance. And then we have sudden wealth on the bottom of the deck. 14 or 11 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 14 or 11. It could be possible ages of children, of you, or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible social number. Uh, possible jersey number. 14 or 11. Sudden wealth. Huge series of chain of events are about to occur soon. Huge. It's about to shake things up in the energetic space in huge ways. Okay, I heard huge series of chain of events are about to occur here. It's about to shake things up in the energetic space in huge ways. So, um, huge series of chain of events so maybe this side was profiting off of children because i heard uh, uh series they're about to be locked up for child abuse so they were um profiting off children and making a lot of money off them in some shape or fashion but it sounds like very illegally is what it sounds like and then we have uh, bad health underneath that so i think it's going to give the side bad health or it's already given this Sag bad health, or maybe it's given you bad health because you know this Sag is abusing these children, child or children, in some shape, form, or fashion. For some situations, the Sagittarius is a stepmother. For some, they are a foster mother. Former foster mother. Oh, my Lord. I heard in some of these situations, this Sagittarius is a stepmother. So for some of these, it's at least two Sagittarius in the universe that's about to get locked up for child abuse, is what it sounds like. One of these Sagittarius is a stepmother, I heard. So a stepmother, maybe to the children they're abusing, or a stepmother to somebody's children, but they're abusing some kind of children. And some of these uh, Sages are former foster mothers. They're definitely feminine energies. You plug it in how it resonates, but they already have bad health or they're about to acquire bad health when they realize they're about to be publicly embarrassed um, behind bars. But you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, but you should never profit off children. Um, foster system is not a moneymaker. Um, some people use it as a moneymaker, but, but it's not. It's not a moneymaker. It's just not. And anybody that views it as a moneymaker shame on them and that's just the truth that's the truth i used to be a foster kid i'm 38 year old woman but back when i was a kid i was a foster child and that's the truth some people do to do view it as a uh, money making system and they do and that's just the truth but you plug it in how it resonates all right let me see if i hear anything else One Sagittarius is a current foster parent. One Sagittarius is a current foster parent. Okay, so we have at least three Sagittarius. Sag energy strong in here. Uh, abusing children. So one is a stepmother. You can know the stepmother. Maybe you're about to report the stepmother. This Sag stepmother. They could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhand, or Jupiter. That's for one side. Sounds like about to be locked up for child abuse. The other side, I heard, is a former foster mother. So they're not currently a foster mother in the foster system. They used to be. 
Maybe you know this former Sag step, uh, foster mother or you're connected to them, possibly. They could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, maintain with Jupiter, both them energies. And then the third Sag I heard is a current foster parent. So the current Sag energy over here could be a masculine or femme Sag, and they are a current foster parent. So they currently have children underneath their care, like from um, the DHR, um, child services, basically. Whatever state or country they reside in, they currently have children in their care. And um, it could be a masculine or femme size. They could have sides in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may name with Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, we're done. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.